Hey, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create your own custom low content interiors and we're gonna start right now with Affinity Publisher. So I've got Affinity Publisher over here. I'm just gonna start and open a new project. Um, I'm gonna, okay, we'll do six by nine. So that's page width of six inches, page height by nine inches. And then we're gonna use inches as the measure. Okay, and make sure it's 300 DPI. Uh, you can always set it higher if you want it. I mean, the higher the better, I guess. I'm going to include margins and, um, you know, you'll have to set yours, but I'm going to make it easy and just set everything as 0.5, okay? Because then I, I don't know how big your books are going to be. <laughs> um, and we're going to do no bleed, so zero on bleed, all right? So I'm going to create that. And let me start with... Uh, blank lines because that's always easy to do so just do blank lines first um, and we're using publisher affinity publisher i'm going to zoom right in and i don't know if i want black maybe i'll have something a bit less dark so not so intense so this is black black this is a bit some kind of a shade of gray this is completely white so i'll choose something that's not as um not as heavy on the black you know, some people like it full on bold black. Um, I prefer it something a bit less. So 80, maybe, you know, that's okay. 85%. I'll, I'll go with that. All right. So I'm just zoomed in there. And you can completely adjust the height as well of this um, line. So let's just do 0 0.025 inches. See how that looks. Zoom out. Okay, that looks a little, a little, a little too uh, thick for me. So I'm gonna go down a little bit. Zero point zero two, maybe. Or zero point zero one five. Let's do zero point zero one five. Okay, I'm just gonna stick with that. All right. Now um, that is one. Now here's a handy tip. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh, now I'm gonna draw a little box. And this box is going to serve as the space indication. So don't worry about the um, the actual size of the box. I just worry about the height. So I want the height to be 0.5 inches. Uh, you can set it to whatever you feel like. Let me go back to the mouse button. Frame text tool. So we've got a frame here and we've got text. I'm going to put day. So you can adjust it to whatever you feel like. So you. Um, I'm going to put date here, maybe you can put um, day if you want, and then just underline it over here perhaps, and this will form your custom, customized approach, okay? You can always make it bigger or larger, and you can select that and adjust the, um, I think over here, characters, make it larger, larger font size if you want. So, you know, play around with that, completely up to you, of course. And if you make it too large and it goes to another line, just drag it out a bit, okay? No one's going to get hurt dragging it out. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Um, this is very rough. This is by no means supposed to be perfect. I'm just demonstrating how you can do your own, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these two, Control c Control v so I'm copy and pasting, okay? And I'm going to copy and paste again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all these and I'm going to paste it once. Yeah. Why is it not clicking? It should really snap in place. There we go. Now it's snapping in place. See, I want it to snap in place. Um, anyway, so the reason I'm doing this is so that all the um, lines are 0 0.5 inches spaced apart. Okay, um, this is just my way of doing it. I'm sure there are other ways of doing it. So I'm just gonna highlight the uh, box and the line. I'm gonna paste it again. I'm gonna paste it again. Um, move up. It's a bit repetitive, but don't worry. I'm just fast forward through all of these. Okay, and once you're done, highlights all the rectangles. One, two, three, and I've got, I'm holding the shift key down and just delete all those. Okay. And then you can highlight all these. 
delete all those. So there you go. There's your line page. Okay, and this is kind of like the um, the absolute basic. Now, if you want to do something extra, you can always try and um, I'm going to zoom in right to over here, all the way in. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a bit smaller. Same with this, but I'm going to gradually do this. So it's not fully like tiny. All the way to here, okay. And you can always stick an icon in here, whatever you feel like. All right. Um, I I don't know what you want to <laughs> what you want to put in there, um, but you know um, I'm still you I'm still learning how to use this tool, so maybe you can stick kind of a. Uh, maybe put a box here or something and then have your icon there and if you want you can put your lines back so um, let's grab this tool and you can put your lines back so that it's all horizontal and it aligns with this one here you know so what i would do is maybe stick some kind of um some kind of uh picture or art over there and if you want you know you can resize it according to your requirements so just resize that all the way here you know there you go um, and this is where you would put something some kind of a picture art a clip art or, or of sorts all right and then um, you can play around with the um, the color of it if you want um, you can change it up completely usually for low content no content books you probably um, do black and white or some shade of gray because printing in color tends to be very expensive so <laughs> um, we'll just we'll just leave it as um black for now and then we can reduce the opacity so you know you need to put some kind of a um, icon or graphing in there okay and this is how you might do it you you could do something like this okay and you can so I'm gonna copy this one and paste it over here. So I paste it here, all right, and we're going to just adjust this as well. So we're going to zoom right in, and we're going to adjust this line here to fit with this, yes, okay, and then this one, we're going to highlight that, and we're going to adjust this again, same thing over here, and you may not want to adjust it for the last one, you can just shift this box a bit higher up. And there you go. You've got a um, you've got something that you can stick your clip art over here. All right. Let's just zoom out. You can stick your clip art over here, as well as over here, and you can customize this according to um, whatever you feel like doing. Really, yeah. Um, let me just adjust this slightly because we don't really want the line to be touching the box. Um, so I'm going to make that a tiny bit smaller. So that it's not touching the box and i'm going to align all the other lines okay there we go so this is what i would do obviously don't put a blank you know well maybe you can put a blank box i don't know maybe <laughs> maybe this is some kind of um, a yearbook and you can stick a clip art or um sorry not a clip art you might want to stick an actual picture onto this so like an a passport photo or something <laughs> you know and over here you, you know you might want to do um clip art where this is maybe some kind of flower or some kind of depending on what niche you're doing so let's say you're doing basketball you could stick basketball in there and get a picture of a basketball um if you're doing something a bit more um planner like or uh, feminine like you might want to stick a flower over here you know so just use your imagination now once you've got that done um this is this essentially um oh this is um essentially your page and you can just copy and paste it Oh, no, that's not what I want. So what you can do is double click or um, right click on your mouse and then duplicate page, right? And just keep duplicating it. So you can keep duplicating until you're, um, you're ready. Nope. So why is that? This one's got a um, duplicate page. Not quite sure. Okay, this thing seems to be um, 
we seem to have copy and pasted, so it's on the master. Should delete that on the master, um, and then I'll delete it on all these. I should have probably started with master because if you do it on the master, you can propagate everything through. So just as an example, if you put something on the master, let's say I'm going to put some text in the middle just to really make it easy for everyone to see. Um, master, and I'm going to in character. Gonna make this massive. You gotta highlight this thing before you change the font. I'm gonna make it 48. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna underline it. Ooh, double underline it. Why not? Why not? <laughs> um, and on paragraphs, so you can center it. And I think that'll be okay. So let me just move this so that it is centered on the page. And then you can see anything that's on this page, on the left-hand page, it will come up with this master wording, okay? So it's actually quite convenient if you wanted to design this design over here. Um, if you want to design this on the master sheet, you could just propagate the whole thing through. So you might just copy all of this and then go to this sheet, paste it, and then move it across. There you go, voila. And if you want it to be exactly aligned with the margins, you can do that. Bear in mind the margins I've set as 0 0.5 inches all around. You can change that according to the inside gutter or the outside margin. Um, ideally, you will change that. So let's go ahead and change that. I'm gonna spread properties. There we go, spread properties, six by nine inches, portrait. Now I want the margins. So the inner margins over here, typically for my books 0 0.375 inside and on the outside and upper i'm going to unlink these um, because i don't want the inside and outer to be the same so the outside margin and the upper margin tends to be 0.25 i believe so i'm going to just change that 0.25 there we go and then you can see it's just adjusted the margins all the way through and you can see that the margins are where the blue line is and you can expand it and it just automatically does that for you. Yeah, and like I say, if you want to do this on this page as well, just copy and paste, drag it across, and voila, and everything on the master pages come through. So you'll have to, <laughs> you'll have to obviously um, delete that and then maybe just highlight all these and delete these because we don't we don't need them, but this is effectively the master page, right? And the master right page. So if you change anything, you'll see the change over here. Yeah, see, it just disappears right there. All right, I'll undo that so you can see. Um, so I hope this is useful. Um, I'm just getting into uh, using, I'm gonna delete that because it looks ugly. <laughs> I'm just getting into using a bit more affinity for what I do and I love it because um, for the one-time fee, it provides huge control um, over any design aspects of it. Um, oh, I just spotted this, so you can actually change this. This thing here, this line has a much smaller margin over here, so you may want to um, have a look. This line here is, what's the width? 4.189, so you may want to have this as 4.189. 4.189. And then you may want to change that for these these ones here as well, so just so it looks exactly the same. Um, so there we go. Oh, incidentally, if you want it to matchy-matchy, like this one over here, and you want it to be a mirror image, by all means, please do that. <laughs> you know, just move, just shift things around um, and make it a mirror image, like I'm doing here. Okay? Um, anyway, this video has gone on a bit longer than I wanted. I just wanted to showcase how you can design your own custom low content interior books um, relatively easily. And um, I'm using Affinity Publisher, um, which I really love. So Affinity Publisher um, has, has been pretty good for uh, customizing everything. I'm a big fan of Canva. I still use Canva, but um, Affinity Publisher here offers quite a lot of control as well. Okay, uh, don't forget, smash that thumbs up button, likey the likey button, and I shall see you in the next video. Have a great day, everyone.